guys, this is Eliza and welcome back to a new video. So today we are filming a part two of my bookshelf tour. So we are going to tackle the red shelves today. I have two bookshelves as you can see behind me. Don't mind this. That's all the books I'm unhauling, which I'll leave that video linked in the cards and also down below. But yes, today we're going to sh go through this entire section here, these two shelves. These are all books that I have read. And this is going to be a relatively long video as there's two of them. Shouldn't be too, too long, but it'll be relatively long. So we're just going to jump straight into it. Hey guys, so editing Eliza here, I just wanted to come on and apologize in advance for the angles of this video. So when I filmed this, I still had my old tripod. I now have a new one, which is freaking amazing. But my old one would not sit uh, dead flat, like dead straight, no matter what you did it would just flop to one side because the way you screw it in had gotten so freaking loose it was ridiculous. So unfortunately these videos or well, these clips are filmed on a slight tilt so you will see that in the video. Unfortunately the only editing software that I have been able to find that actually works seamlessly with my Mac without being an absolute fucking atrocity is iMovie and iMovie does not have the option to do a slight tilt like just to straighten up the clip a little bit you can either flip it 90 degrees or that's it so yeah unfortunately i won't be able to fix it in editing i just don't have the software and i have been hunting in recent months for a proper software that actually works with my computer and i have not found one that actually works with it so that's that but unfortunately i can't fix that part so I apologize if it is distracting, but we're just going to be working on a slightly not straight angle, which is appropriate because neither am I. So let's get into the video. Okay, so starting with the bookshelf on the left, and we'll be going across ways and then down each one because that's the direction that I've organized my bookshelves. So they are organized in genre. So first off, we have all dystopians. All my dystopians do fit on one shelf, which is really convenient. So first off for the Funko Pops, these are all the Funko Pops from the new Ghostbusters movie, the one that's got the female main characters. Then up the top there, we have the Ford Anglia, which you would, would have seen in my Harry Potter collection tour. Then we have President Snow from The Hunger Games. And then we have Zazu from The Lion King. So I'll move those Funkos and let's talk about the books. So over in the far left, we have the full trilogy for The Hunger Games. These are one of the old, I believe UK covers. Then I have a second set for the Hunger Games. This one is the newer covers they released last year I believe. They're absolutely gorgeous so I had to get the second set. Next we have The Darkest Minds Never Fade and In the Afterlight which are the three books in The Darkest Minds trilogy by Alexandra Brackett. Next we have Through the Dark which is a bind up of short stories based in The Darkest Minds world. This one is a hard cover so it doesn't quite match the original ones, the ones I just showed you, but they don't actually have this in a paperback, so I had to get the hardcover. Then we have my second set of the Darkest Minds books, so this one's The Darkest Minds Never Fade, In the Afterlight, and Through the Dark. Then next we have the Divergent Trilogy, plus four, which is a collection of short stories based in the Divergent world. So we have Divergent, Insurgent, Allegiant, and four. Then we have the Maze Runner Trilogy, so we've got the Maze Runners, the Scorch Trials, and Death Cure. This is the box set, and the box I have down the bottom in storage, so it's not in the road. Next we have Mortal Engines by Philip Reeve. Then we have the first two books in the This Mortal Coil series, so This Mortal Coil and This Cruel Design. I haven't finished book three yet, but when we finish it, it'll be up there as well. Then I have Scythe by Neil Shusterman. Okay, so on the next shelf, these are contemporaries continued, and then we move into some more historical. As for Funkos, we have Darkwing Duck. I don't know what this dude's name is. He's one of the Ghostbusters. I accidentally bought him when I was buying the female Ghostbusters, because I didn't really look at it properly. So we have him. Uh, then we have Dean, Castiel, and Sam from Supernatural. Up the top, we have a Litwick candle called Leandra and a Fragrant Fables candle called The Shire. So first out of this side, we have Queens of Geek by Jen Wilde. I Am Changed by Susie Zale. Finding Wonders by Janine Atkins. Geekerella and The Princess and the Fangirl by Ashley Poston. I have the hardcover and the paperback of Geekerella. Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell and Faith Erin Hicks. The Hate You Give and On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. Then I have the Owl Crate edition of Pride by Ibby Zavoy. The original has blue writing and also blue 
under the dust jacket and I believe this section's blue. I think this is in the original. I'm not sure, I haven't actually seen it in person. I was born for this by Alice Oseman. Radio Silence by Alice Oseman. Kindred, 12 Queer Love Oswaye Stories. Heartstopper Volume 1, 2 and 3 by Alice Oseman. Dear Martin by Nick Stone. The Brightsiders by Jen Wilde. This one I have sprayed so it's pink on there, blue on the bottom and purple on the top. And yes, I'm gonna use this as an excuse to show off my sprayed edge books. Um, this one was done by us, Dusk Angel Store. Also, I have The Hate You Give has red on the top and bottom and black on the sides. But Simon vs. Homo Sapiens Agenda and The Upside of Unrequited by Becky Albertalli. Escape from Mr. Lemoncello's Library by Chris Grabenstein. Then we have the Owl Crate edition of The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee and also the normal paperback for The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. Then I have the first four books in the Tomorrow series. So Tomorrow When the War Began and The Dead of the Night, The Third Day, The Frost, and Darkness Be My Friend by John Marsden. Then lastly on the shelf we have To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. Okay, so now we're on the next shelf down. So first we have some historical fiction which continue from the previous shelf. We have my single thriller and then moving on to mystery. So as for Funko Pops, the first one I have here, this is the Bushfire Funko. So I can't remember what it was actually called, but they released this during the Bushfire Relief here in Australia and it is a little firefighter and a koala. Then we have the Flocked Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland and Eeyore from The Winnie the Pooh. Then up here we have a candle from the book Hangover called Rise Up. I have no idea what that seemed out of. It was in a The Y Chronicles box, I believe. Then over on the far side we have a Litwick candle called Alex Jennings. Alex Jennings being from the Medora Chronicles. Oh, and here we have a little treasure chest. So this is just like a really cheap treasure chest because it came with little pirate coins which we use as props. So we just keep them in the little chest they come in so they don't go everywhere. So firstly over the side we have The Tattooist of Auschwitz by Heather Morris. The Complete Mouse by Art Spiegelman. Trader's Gate by Michael Ridpath. Where the Outback Drovers Ride by Bruce Simpson. Two copies of The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak. Then I have an arc of The Girl from Munich by Tania Blanchard. And lastly for historical we have Salt to the Sea by Ruta Sapetis. Then I have my only thriller The Flower Girls by Alice Clark Platts. Jacoby, Ghostly Echoes, Beastly Bones and The Dire King by William Ritter. Truly Devious, The Vanishing Stair, and The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson. Stalking Jack the Ripper, Hunting Prince Dracula, Escaping from Houdini, and Capturing the Devil by Kerry Maniscalco. The Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter, European Travel for the Monstrous Gentlewoman, and The Sinister Mystery of the Mesmerizing Girl by Theodora Goss. Then lastly on this shelf we have The Cuckoo's Calling by Robert Galabrath, aka J.K. Rowling. Now moving on to the next shelf we have The Last of My Mysteries and then we move into my fantasy. So for Funkos on this shelf these are all from the Wonder Woman collection. This is the newer Wonder Woman movie. So we have Hippolyta, I can't, I think that's how you pronounce it. I cannot remember his name for the life of me. Then we have Diana, Antiope, and Etta Candy. Then up the top here we have a candle from the book Hangover called Error. This one came in the Obsidio box, which was from the YA Chronicles, as did this flower. Oh, I can't reach it. It is a paper flower and it's made out of the pages from Illuminate, um, but it came in that Obsidio box as well. And then we have one of our Dusk Angel Reads candle. This is just a standard tropical candle. These are the ones we sell at the markets. We don't have it. Oh, whoops, sorry, dude. We don't have our normal scents for sale on the website, only the book themed ones. So firstly on the shelf we have One of Us Is Lying, Two Can Keep A Secret and One of Us Is Next by Karen and McManus. This I believe is the US edition. Then we have the UK paperback with the sprayed edges. These come with it. These are not done by us. Then I have a normal paperback and a sprayed edged paperback. And then lastly I have the sprayed edged of One of Us Is Next. Next we have my Agatha Christie books. So we have After the Funeral and Then There Were None, Cat Among the Pigeons, Murder on the Orient Express and Five Little Pigs. These are the only ones I have on my red shelf. I do have a pile of them down on my TBR shelf and I don't actually know if I've read any of those yet. I probably have and they need to come up here but they just live down there. But I do want to collect these editions as they are gorgeous but I have a heap of these ones because I got them from secondhand stores but these are stunning and I want to collect them all but there's like what 50 something books and I don't have the money especially when these are like 15 to 20 dollars a piece. Now onto the fantasy. Firstly we have Enchante by Gita Trelis. This one has been renamed. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. I highly prefer the original name like Enchante and I can't remember what the second book was meant to be called. I'll put the cover on the screen. But the new names just don't suit it. I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, we have this one and this one is sprayed gold by us. The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. Daughter of the Burning City by Amanda Foodie. The Ace of Shades and King of Fools by Amanda Foodie as well. This one here is the Owl Crate edition of Ace of Shades and then these are the originals. The Shadows Between Us by Trisha Levenseller. Why this is not with my other Trisha Levenseller books, I don't actually know. One moment, let me rectify that. 
that can go there, and that can go there. So now in that spot, we have Stronger Than a Bronze Dragon by Mary Fenn, Toil and Trouble, 15 Tales of Women and Witchcraft, The Star Spun Web by Sinead O'Hart, Roar by Cora Carmack, which is a book I don't actually like and I would unhaul, but it was also the first book I ever sprayed. So, you know, I'm keeping it for sentimental reasons and I display it this side out as well. Three Dark Crowns and One Dark Throne by Ken Dare Blake. Then we have an arc of Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart. Scorch Dragons by Amy Kaufman. House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. Then we have an arc of Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nang. Mooncase by Wendy Zhu and Suzanne Walker. Then we have Misfit City Volume 1. Then we have a Back to the Future comic that I received in a subscription box. Um, this is IWD number one. I don't know. <laughs> so this is the next shelf for fantasy. And on this one, we have Funkos for Miko and Flick, which is like the cutest Funkos I own. Like how cute is he? He's even got a little beery on his nose. Then we have the clock from Beauty and the Beast. Oh, I can't remember what his name is. Then we have the 11th, no, the 11th and the 12th Doctor. Is that right? Or is 10th and 11th? I don't know. Doctors. David Tennant and what's his face, whose name I can't remember. Then we have a Dalek Funko as well. And then up here we have just a little black dragon figurine who's hiding. So firstly on this shelf we have my rather large collection of A Curse So Dark and Lonely and A Heart So Fierce and Broken books. So first here we have the UK paperbacks. So this one, A Curse So Dark and Lonely is the one with the hollow Edges, A Heart So Fierce and Broken is not because I'm still on the hunt. Then we have two each of the paperbacks because one of these I've kept normal and then the other one I have sprayed. And there's A Heart So Fierce and Broken with the purple sprayed edges. For She Ignites, As She Ascends and When She Reigns by Jodie Meadows. The Medoran Chronicles by Lynette Noni. So we have Akane, Raelia, Dracora, Greyvale, Vardacia and We Three Heroes. Then we have the special edition hardcover or something. I'm not sure what it's called but it is Akane by Lynette Noni. And this one has gold foiled edges, which is stunning. Sorcerer of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. And this one has silver sprayed edges done by us. Shadow Frost by Coco Ma. Then I have the hardcover and the paperback of The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. The paperback came with pink sprayed edges and the hardcover we sprayed per Crown of Coral and Pearl by Mara Rotherford. And then lastly on the shelf, we have Monstrous Volume 1 Awakening by Marjorie Liu and Sana Takara. So then we have my next fantasy shelf. So this one we have Elizabeth Swan, Captain Barbosa, Captain Jack Sparrow and Will Turner, all from of the Caribbean. Each of them are from different movie collections though. And then on the far side we have Miss Peregrine and her Peregrine form. And then up the top we have Jacob, also from Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children. And then we have another Dusk Angel store candle. This one is Amani, which is from Rebel of the Sands, which it's sitting on. So first on the shelf we have Blood Air by Amelia Wenzel. And this one has sparkly gold sprayed edges, done by Dusk Angel store. Forks by Nadine Brands, which also has gold sparkly edges. Edges. I just happen to have those two sitting together. Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahoran and this one also has black sprayed edges with gold glitter which you can kind of see there when it hits the light. It's hard to see it on camera. House of Dragons by Jessica Clues and this one has Blue Glitter Edges. The Bone Thief by Brianna Shields. Mask of Shadows by Lindsay Miller. Then we have the first five books in the Wayward Children series. So we have Every Heart a Doorway, Down Among the Sticks and Bones, Beneath the Sugar Sky, In an Absent Dream, and Come Tumbling Down by Shauna Maguire. The Rebel of the Sands trilogy, Rebel of the Sands, Traitor to the Throne, and Hero at the Fall by Alwyn Hamilton. Daughter of the Pirate King and Daughter of the Siren Queen by Trisha Levenseller. Warrior of the Wild by Trisha Levenseller. And this one has green sprayed edges. Tiger Queen by Annie Sullivan and this one has gold glitter sprayed edges. Then we have The Shadows Between Us which I moved there before from up there so I'm not going to pull that one out. Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, Hollow City, Library of Souls, A Map of Days and The Conference of the Birds by Ransom Riggs and this is the first five books in the Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children series. Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs. This is a collection of short stories that are kind of like fairy tales and this book is actually spoken about in the Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children's books. The Poppy War by R.F. Kong and then Lastly on the shelf we have The Woods Volume 1 The Arrow by James Tinian IV and Michael Dialanis. Then we have my next fantasy shelf. So on this one for Funkos we have Gimli, Gandalf the Grey, Grandalf the White, Bilbo, all from Lord of the Rings slash The Hobbit, and then we have Toothless up the end there. As for candles we have The Hobbit Hole which is by Muggle Library Candles 
And then from Novel Sense & Co, we have Garnsey, which is from The Raven Boys. So firstly on the shelf, we have the graphic novel edition of The Hobbit, illustrated by David Wenzel, adapted by Charles Dickens and Sean Deming, obviously from J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit. So we have the original edition, which is this one just here, and then the newer edition. The Silmarillion by J.R.R. Tolkien, and Atlas of Tolkien by David Day. Then we have The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King by J.R.R. Tolkien, obviously the three books in the Lord of the Rings series. Then we have three editions of The Hobbit. So we have the mass market paperback, which I would get rid of this, but this is the one we use to display for our small book sleeves, which is the only reason I've kept it. We have the normal The Hobbit. This is the 50th anniversary edition paperback. And then we also have this collector's edition, which is cloth bound. Whisper and Weapon by Lynette Noni. The Raven Boys, The Dream Thieves, Blue Lily, Lily Blue, and The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater. The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardogo. This is a short story collection based in the world of the Grisha trilogy. Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdoms. So we have the normal paperback, the collector's edition, and then these two were a box set and they are the ones that have sprayed edges. The Savage Song and Our Dark Duet by V.E. Schwab, or Victoria Schwab in this case. Avatar The Last Airbender, The Promise Parts 1, 2, and 3. And then lastly on the shelf we have The BFG by Roald Dahl. Now onto the next shelf we have The Last of the Fantasy and then moving in to sci-fi. So for Funkos we have a Sixer, Sorrento, Parzival, Aik, and the Iron Giant, all from Ready Player One. Up the top we have Amortentia by A Court of Candles, and then Cabe's Water by Novel Sense & Co. Obviously Amortentia is Harry Potter themed, and that one is The Raven Cycle. So first we have A Darker Shade of Magic and A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. We have the UK paperbacks, and then the US collector's editions. Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo, and Batman Nightwalker by Marie Lu. Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Aurora Rising and Aurora Burning by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff and the hardcover of Aurora Rising has silver sprayed edges. Nixia and Nixia Unleashed by S Scott Rankton. The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet, A Closed and Common Orbit and Record of a Spaceborn Few by Becky Chambers and this one was actually the first release hardcover which has stunning artwork on the end papers. Then we have Illuminae, Gemini and Obsidio in the hardcovers and these three have all been sprayed. Let me turn it around so you can see. So Illuminae is black, Gemini is blue and Obsidio is red. And then I also have the paperbacks. So now the last little shelf, this is only three quarters fill. Firstly for Funkos we have Show, Daito, I Rock, and Artemis all from Ready Player One. Volumes one through seven of The Wicked Plus The Divine. Heart of Iron by Ashley Poston which has rose gold sprayed edges. Bone Season, The Mime Order and The Song Rising by Samantha Shannon, which I have also sprayed the edges to match the spines. Then we have Contagion and Immunity by Erin Bowman. Renegades by Marissa Meyer. Warcross by Marie Lu, and this one has purple sprayed edges. And then very last we have Cinder, Scarlet Cress and Winter by Marissa Meyer. Hey guys, very quick outro as my camera battery is about to go flat, but that is all for part two of my bookshelf tour, my red books. I hope you guys